this tutorial we'll take a look at uh, how to create sweeps and lofts and uh, we're gonna start off with a nobs curve and in the front view I'm just going to enable grid snap 2 and then just draw a curve right click swipe to complete it hit the home view to get to the default isometric view I'm just gonna make a copy and paste it click on the axis uh, rotation handle and type in 90 so with these two curves we can just create a quick uh, sweep so alt right click and select sweep for the profiles you can select any one of these curves I'm going to select the curve in the front view hit right click and for the path uh, I'm going to select the curve in the right view so by default a uh, sweep is created and if we move into the top view you can notice that sweep is not parallel so you can change that using the options in the guide bar and change the sweep type to parallel and click on the green check mark to complete it once we have this shape uh, I like to set a new home view that's slightly far away from the object so I'm going to zoom out and hit control click on the home button so this is my new home view so whenever I hit home I come back to this new view uh, in the top view I'm going to create a square or a rectangle and just draw it right click swipe then move into the wireframe view using one and I just want to position this uh, into the center so double click on the rectangle and by default it's uh, pinned at the bottom left so I can just click and drag these handles to make it a square you could have also used um, shift when you were creating the rectangle to create a square so alt right click and uh, hit the home button now we're gonna trim this surface with the rectangle right click and then just click on the area that you want to remove so we're gonna remove the center and then hit the green check mark uh, so now this is the hole that we've created and I'm going to use some blend curves and then create a loft uh, I'll just select all these curves and hit H on the keyboard or you can do a right click hide and click again in any uh, part of the view we'll move into the top view and for this exercise since we're going to be creating a loft that will be snapped to the edges of the surface I usually try to turn off all the grids so I'll turn off the grid snap and also the main snap uh, I will disable the center snap you can go to the curves menu and just click on blend so you don't have to click on a surface so when I move my mouse uh, over the surface it turns green so this uh, tells me that I have picked the right surface and you can just move the mouse along the edge until it snaps to the midpoint so if you don't see the midpoint just move to the edge until you see an end point and then come back to the center and the midpoint should be seen so at this point I can tell that the snap has uh, activated I just click once and then I move to the other end and then again click once more so now I have two points uh, defined for the blend I just right click swipe to finish it if I go back to my right view I would like to add uh, a shape to the loft by default there are only two points you can change the shape of the blend curve by selecting the blend point uh, expanding the controls here and changing the magnitude to a different value so if I change it to 2 you can see that the curve is uh, bizarre the default is 1 in order to reduce this small peak that you're seeing at the middle you want to reduce the magnitude of both the points so I can select both points and give them a magnitude of 0.8 or 0.9 to see whatever I like best let's leave it at 0.9 and if you want to add a different shape you just move your mouse to the middle click and drag another point now since the point is free to move you want to snap it along the Z axis you can turn on the grid 1 snapping or a grid 2 snapping using alt and 2 so here I can snap it along this so let's snap it here right click swipe to complete it and we're going to repeat the same process on the other side uh, if we want to add another rail curve so go to the blend curve tool 
Now I'll disable the grid snap again. Just move to the midpoint snap and here I can snap the second point directly to the midpoint of the old blind curve and then finally here onto the other midpoint. Right click swipe. In order to edit the shape of the curve and also the property of the middle point, I'm going to edit mode, select the point and change it from curvature to just a positional point. So this means it, it's driven by the other two endpoints. Right click swipe. Now go to the loft. We just want to select all the curves in one direction and the rails in the other direction. So in the front view for profiles you start with the leftmost edge, then the middle curve and then the rightmost edge. Right click and then we can just go from here. Select the middle rail and then the outermost rail. Now you can just right click to complete the whole selection process but we haven't set the constraints yet. By default it is a positional constraint along all the corners but uh, since the blend curves were driven by curvature constraint the loft looks pretty good right now. So if I hide all the curves and turn off the object lines you can see that there is still uh, some gap here. So you can double click on the loft, click outside to deselect and then just use control and box select all of these edge edges and then change the constraint here to curvature. Right click swipe. So now you can see that it's a lot smoother. To learn more visit alter.com slash inspirestudio.